Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you my favorite lipsticks for this festive season and I really wanted to show you red lipsticks but not everyone likes red lipsticks so I collected like every color that I like. <laughs> So I have collected everything from nudes to darker nudes to reds to very dark shades. And I decided to include both liquid lipsticks and normal lipsticks just because not everyone likes liquid lipsticks. So if you want to see my favorite lipsticks for this festive season then just keep on watching. This is the new Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced. This is the packaging and it's beautiful. It's just the prettiest packaging, I think. It's so nice. It has a beautiful pink undertone to it. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand so you can see. I really love these liquid lipsticks. I don't think that they are very drying and I really think that they last a long time on my lips. I don't know if I told you what shade it is, but this is the shade child star. So if you see me wearing a nude liquid lipstick this winter then it's probably this one from Too Faced. So this is the studded kiss lipstick from Kat Von D and this is the shade Lovecraft. This is a really beautiful dusky rose kind of color and it dries quite matte on your lips which means that it's gonna stay on for quite a long time. I just think this lipstick would be perfect if you are not maybe into all the super bold lipsticks or not even into reds but you still wanna feel like really pretty and girly and just cute. So once again that was Lovecraft. So the next one I have is this one by MAC. This is called Fast Play and this is one of their hair. And this is one of their amplified lipsticks. So it's not matte, it has a bit of a sheen to it. So as you can see, it's a pigmented lipstick, but it still has a bit of a sheen to it. Sometimes I just like wearing a lipstick like this, just because they are a lot more moisturizing. And as you may or may not know, I live in Sweden, so it's very cold here and you just get very dry easily. And if you have dry lips and they get like chapped and everything, then it's not very nice to put on a very drying lipstick. So that's why I really love lipsticks like this. And I obviously really love the color of this lipstick. It's a dark dusky pink, I would say, um, or like a mauve kind of color. So yeah, that was Fast Play by MAC or Fast Play. So next up we have the long lasting liquid lipstick by The Balm and the one I have on right now is the shade Sincere. So this is what the packaging looks like and I really love the old school photos that they have on their packaging. It's so cute. So the first thing you notice when you open these liquid lipsticks is that they smell like mint. Like very strong... Is it mint? Yeah. And when it comes to a really strong scent, I think that some people love it and some people hate it. This color is quite similar to the one by MAC, but this one has a warmer undertone to it. This is Fast Play and this is Sincere. But I really like this color as well and the price is quite good, I think. So this liquid lipstick is also by The Balm and this is in the sh 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 and this is in the shade Charming. So how would we describe this color? It's like a dark rose, I would say, but with a hint of purple. I usually don't like colors like this on me, but I really really like this one. I think it's that purple cool toned tint that really made me fall in love with this one. So yeah. That's Charming by The Balm. <music> so 
So the one that I have on right now is one that I am so completely obsessed with. It's so nice. It's the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. I'm gonna swatch it next to Charming by The Balm. So this is Charming by The Balm and this is Soft Spoken. And Soft Spoken is a lot more muted and cool toned I would say. If you love liquid lipsticks but you think that a lot of them are very drying, then try these. They feel very moisturizing on. I just think that liquid lipsticks are drying, there's no denying that. You just really have to take care of your lips before and after and you just have to get used to that dry feeling I think. This is not a liquid lipstick, they say that this is a cream lipstick. So how are these different from other liquid lipsticks? These don't dry as matte as other liquid lipsticks, which means that they don't last as long. But since they're not as matte, they're also not as drying, which is super good. I never feel dry when I use these. I feel very moisturized and it feels really good on my lips. So yeah, this is my latest obsession. This is Soft Spoken by NYX. So this lipstick is one that I think you either love or hate. I obviously love it because otherwise I wouldn't include it in this video. So this one is also by NYX, it's called Brooklyn Thorn. I have hair everywhere. And as you can see, this is basically a dark purpley grey shade. I don't really know what to say about it, but if you like dark lipsticks or you like really cool tone lipsticks, then I'll... then this is just an amazing color, I think. I just really love this lipstick and I feel really cool when I have it on, so if it's not your cup of tea, then I get it. But if it is, then it's a good cup of tea, like, good. So enough about that one. This was Brooklyn Thorn by NYX. My dog decided to join us, so if you hear a few noises, then it's probably her. Who am I talking to, huh? Who? She looks at me like, what the fuck are you doing? So this liquid lipstick is from Anastasia, and it's in the color Trust Issues. So to me, this is like the perfect dark plummy shade. A look that I just love so much is when you wear like a white dress or just a white top or something, and then you have a really dark, deep, plummy lip. It can just look so kind of like effortless in a way, but still very chic and elegant and I just think that's such a beautiful look. And I also think that a bold lipstick really screams confidence, which is so sexy to me. So yeah, that's why I really love this one. So the next one I have is also by The Balm and this one is called Dedicated. I would probably describe this one as a dark hot pink. Here it is. This is a color that looks amazing all year round I think, but I really wanted to include it in this video just because not everyone likes to wear red lipsticks and I just think that this is a good option if you're more into pinks than reds. So I really like this lipstick and just because it's Christmas doesn't mean that everyone has to wear red lipsticks. So moving on to all the red lipsticks that I have to show you. The first one I have on is also by The Balm and this one is called Devoted. So this is a very bright kind of red with a blue undertone. It is so beautiful. This is it on my hand. I'm not gonna give you my finger. This is a very stunning red I think. It looks very classy if you like that kind of look. And I think it's one of my favorite types of red. So this is Devoted by The Balm. So our next red color is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this one is called American Doll. Just be nice to me, I think I'm gonna be pretty bad at describing these lipsticks because they are all red. But if we compare this one to Devoted by the Bomb that we just saw, this one is a lot warmer. I'm gonna swatch them next to each other. I'm just gonna let that dry. 
So looking at the swatches, Devoted almost looks a bit more pink than this one, which is American Doll by Anastasia. So just a side note, I think that the application is a lot easier with the Anastasia one than the one from The Balm. They both have a doe foot applicator, but the one from The Balm is a lot like fluffier. It's not a huge difference, but I prefer the one from Anastasia, just if you wanted to know. don't like liquid lipsticks then we have this one this is from L'Oreal and this is the collection exclusive by JLo I've had this one for quite a while but I've been loving it ever since I got it and um, I also have the one that's called Blake's Red I think but I always go for this one so that's why I wanted to show it to you so this is American Doll and this is JLo's Red so once again the Anastasia one is a lot warmer not a lot but it's a tad bit warmer than the JLo one but apart from that, they are very similar. So if you're looking for a really good red lipstick, then I would highly recommend this one. It has a really good price as well. last color I'm going to show you today. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Drop Dead Red. I would probably describe this one as a super dark brownish red. I really like this color. I know that it's probably not everyone's cup of tea, but I really like it. I think this is one of those lipsticks that if you would wear it to a party, people would stop you and ask what you have on your lips. And once again, I think it gives you a very sexy, confident look. So that's why I really like it. And a bold lip like this looks amazing with a very simple eye makeup. So if you don't like to do a heavy eye look, then just keep your eye look very simple and muted. And then you apply a very bold lipstick and it will look like you have everything under control. So those were all the lipsticks that I had to show you today. I hope that I had at least one lipstick in this video that could suit you. Please share this one with your friends if you want to give them some festive lipstick inspiration as well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. So that's it for today. I will talk to you soon. Bye!